Hey everybody, how's it going? Hope everybody's all doing well. Um, in today's video, I want to talk about the fight between Virgil Ortiz and Aegis Kavalyaskis or Mean Machine. It's a bit easier to, to say, so I'm going to stick with Mean Machine throughout the video. Um, in my opinion, this is one of the best fights in boxing at the moment. Uh, you've got Virgil Ortiz, who I think is one of the best prospects in boxing. And then Mean Machine, who I think is one of boxing's most underrated fighters or especially amongst the casuals who probably don't really know him he'll definitely be one of the most underrated fighters but maybe some of the the hardcore fans won't think he's too underrated because you know they've seen him before and they they know him and they probably rate him so they don't think he's too underrated but um amongst the casuals definitely underrated and Virgil Ortiz one of boxing's best prospects I think Virgil Ortiz definitely has one of boxing's best jabs as well so like I said, I think this is one of the best fights in boxing at the moment. Um, obviously, a lot of people saw uh, Mean Machine's performance against Crawford, which he put out a pretty good, uh, you know, account of his of himself. Uh, in that fight, he hurt Crawford, knocked him down, kind of right hand. Uh, Crawford was hurt, he went down. In that fight, he had quite a lot of success at range, you know, countering Crawford. Uh, Crawford then made the adjustment to not box at range, uh, at distance with him because Mean Machine is pretty dangerous there. He made the decision to walk uh, Mean Machine down, try to get on the inside, hit him with body shots, you know, rough him up and, you know, kind of disrespect the puncher a little bit, bulldog him a bit. And Mean Machine didn't seem to uh, enjoy that too well, I think mainly due to the fact that up until that point he had mainly only been fighting eight rounders and he was probably starting to feel the fatigue and the effects of the body shots and getting pushed back and walked down you know over a 12 round fight which like I say he's not really used to and he hadn't really fought that level of competition that was a pretty big step up for him so he was pretty inexperienced as a pro but now he's got the experience of being in there with Crawford and now he's got this big fight against Virgil Ortiz who we all know has been gunning for Crawford he called out Crawford after his last victory over Maurice Hooker I think one of Crawford, Crawford's uh, training partners um, now he's fighting one of Crawford's ex-opponents, so I think we all know he's probably gunning for the stoppage, and he wants to probably do it in a more dominant, devas devastating fashion than Crawford did, to really try and you know get the fans calling for the fight between mean, um, between Virgil Ortiz and Terence Crawford. So I definitely think he's going for the stoppage, and then that's another reason why I think this is a dangerous fight because both men have power. So I can't really see this fight going the distance, especially with the way Virgil Ortiz likes to fight. You know, he's hyper-aggressive, throwing a lot of shots, a lot of power punches. And Mean Machine has power himself, you know, and he can easily catch uh, Ortiz with a counter punch that can hurt him same way he did to Crawford uh, if Virgil Ortiz fights the same way he fought against Hooker. In that fight, I thought he was a little bit too reckless for my liking. I mean, he did a lot of good work and he got the stoppage, but I thought defensively he wasn't responsible enough. And just for my liking, he took, you know, a few too many shots that I I would prefer him not to take. I think he's a smarter fighter than that. I thought he was a bit reckless defensively in that fight. And I think if he's that way in this fight, he could find himself in a bit of trouble, you know. And we haven't seen that up to, up till this point in Virgil Ortiz's career. He looks like he has a pretty good chin because he's taken all the shots pretty well. But you don't want to take too many shots in the sport, especially against a puncher like uh, Mean Machine. So I think this is a risky, dangerous fight. But um, I'm pretty sure Virgil Ortiz is going to be, you know, going for the stoppage to try and one-up Crawford and do it in a more convincing fashion. I think there's two ways this fight could go. I think um, Virgil Ortiz could take the approach of boxing on the outside using his jab. Because like I said, I think he has one of the best jabs in boxing. It's very thudding and powerful. Uh, it's almost like a power shot. So I think he could stay disciplined on the outside, use his jab, pick straight shots. And I think he would outbox um, Mean Machine. I think, you know, Virgil Ortiz is one of the top boxer punches in the sport. But from a mental aspect, I think Virgil Ortiz has the mindset, you know, being trained by Robert Garcia and... You know, being a Mexican fighter, I think he's more of the mindset of trying to be aggressive and really going for the stoppage and trying to get on the inside and work the body and stuff like that. So I think that's probably the approach he's going to take is the approach to get on the inside, you know, probably jab his way in, push Kavalyaskis back with the jab, that hard, powerful jab, 
jab his way onto the inside, then work the body, throw those vicious hooks to the body and the head, like we saw how he roughed up Maurice Hooker in that fight and got the stoppage. And I think that strategy would work as well against Mean Machine because we saw Crawford kind of using that type of strategy, going to the body, pushing Mean Machine back, fatigued him, got the stoppage. So I think Virgil Ortiz could use either of those strategies in this fight and be successful. But I do want to see him be a little bit more defensively responsible, tighten up that high guard and, you know, really jab his way in. Because, like I say, Mean Machine, he is dangerous, quite a sneaky counter puncher as well. Um, but I think Mean Machine's more dangerous at that mid-range. Um, I think on the inside, he's not as dangerous as he is on the, like that mid-range, like where he caught Crawford with that counter right hand. Um also, like I say, he's more dangerous mid to long range than I think he is on the inside. So I think Virgil Ortiz is probably going to take the approach of getting on the inside in this fight. Um, also, with Robert Garcia being, you know, an ex-trainer for Mean Machine, he said himself Mean Machine has one of the hardest punches in the welterweight division and is one of the toughest physically and mentally I think in the welterweight division that Robert Garcia has ever worked with, he said. So they definitely won't be overlooking Mean Machine in this fight. And I think that's quite an advantage as well for Virgil Ortiz to have that Robert Garcia used to work with Mean Machine, used to coach him. So I'm pretty sure he knows uh, Mean Machine's strengths and weaknesses pretty well and is going to be able to formulate you know, the, the correct and right game plan for Virgil Ortiz to follow throughout this fight. So I think Ortiz has a bit of an advantage there as well. And I'm pretty sure they're going to come into the fight with the right game plan. And Ortiz uh, has the you know skills and the ability to definitely follow um, whatever game plan Robert Garcia comes up for him. Because, like I said, I do view him as probably the future of the 147-pound division unless he moves up uh, in weight within the next year or two. I think he is going to be you know, one of the, do the dominant forces in the welterweight division. Um, you know, he can definitely box from the outside and he can fight on the inside. So he's a very versatile, talented boxer, has power, boxer puncher. I think I, I'm really high on Ortiz and I do think he's going to be able to win this fight in a better fashion than Crawford was able to, which is saying something because, I mean, Crawford, yeah, he, he got hurt. But, I mean, Crawford had a good performance. He got the stoppage and he looked pretty good doing it i mean he took a few too many shots as well early in that fight but he made the adjustments and got a pretty dominant stoppage in that fight so for me saying ortiz is gonna one up that i think that's pretty impressive um if ortiz is able to do that and that's um that's my opinion on the fight guys let me know in the comment section below how you think this fight's gonna play out who are you picking to win this fight um and do you think uh Ortiz is ready for Crawford if that's going to be his next fight after this. Let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for listening to the video. Chat to you guys again soon, guys.